Are you there? Or thereabouts? Well, if you're here, you've clicked on the right match day blog. Welcome along to another video. All I'm going to say is this is a special one. It's a Saturday, and that can only mean one thing. A view from the stands is back on the road. So today we are off to Sheffield. Sheffield Wednesday versus Forest Green in the League One encounter. And I'll tell you what, this is exciting for the channel and for me today because I'm taking off new ground, Hillsborough, 40,000 seater stadium. Let's see how many fans Forest Green can take. I'll be impressed that there's 200 plus. I can't wait to get into this one. Come on. Right guys, we have arrived at the Wednesday ground, Hillsborough, and listen, we got the coach, first time ever, got on a supporters coach, different experience to travel to a game, but um, yeah, we've just arrived, first impressions are of this ground, unbelievable, um, bank holiday weekend, sun is out, and do you know what, you can tell it's going to be busy today, Wednesday fans and numbers, as I said, the feeling around Forest Green, 150, maybe 200 fans could be in this packed away, and I'm going to show you the outside of the ground, show you what it's about, but uh, can't wait for this one, it's going to be an excellent away day, and uh, let's see what happens. Unbelievable ground here, absolutely too good for League One in my opinion, but massive game in their hands and Jamal Matt leads the sides out, who knows what could happen today, let's get ourselves into this, one unbelievable League One game coming up here, up the forest green, come on the green army, let's see what happens. Got FDR vlogs here, Cam score prediction! Get away and then here we go. In essence, I here we go, look at the atmosphere building. Bank holiday, weekend at Hillsborough. This is what football's all about. You can't beat it. Forest Green haven't had any of the ball, but they've tried to sit back and defend. 
away end, still going, good atmosphere in here. But Forest Green for themselves, 1 0 down, 40 minutes in. Could this be a long day ahead? We'll have to West End. Good defending there, gets across the front post. Sheffield Wednesday looking very dangerous here, and their fans to the left of us are loving what they're seeing so far. Good start to the game, there's Barry Bannum. That is horrendous from Don Bernard. That is horrendous, and there you go. Wednesday gifted a goal. Again, those fans are loving it. But that was absolutely shocking. Mistake at the back, trying to pass it back. An easy finish there. That is horrible. Ugh. I didn't even get the mistake on the vlog, so I didn't expect it. But Don Bernard tries to pass the ball back to uh, the keeper, Luke McGee. Gets it all wrong. Barry Bannon tapping back of the net over the keeper. As I said, this could be a long day ahead. 2 0 down. It's not looking good. Not looking good. Free kick here for a screen. First time we venture into box, and it's another waste. That really is a waste of an opportunity from Forest Green. That is way too easy. Wednesday fans are laughing. They are laughing. 35 minutes in. Oh God! One ball over the top. And he's in, just like that. Feel sorry for McGee. Feel sorry for McGee. But that is crazy. 3 0 down after 35 minutes. Bad to worse here from Forest Green. 3 0 down after 35. But it's the manner of conceding the goals. It's just one free kick. Diagonal over the back three. McGee's obviously made the save and he's tapped it in to an empty net. 35 minutes, 3 0 down. This could be a long day, as I said. But um, look, we'll have to see. Forest Green have got to show some sort of response to keep the ball. Get rid. Every time Barry Bannon gets the ball, they seem to set something up. And the thing is, the Wednesday fans aren't even celebrating anymore because it's just too easy. 4-0 down just before half time and it's just getting ridiculous now. 4-0. I mean, hard this, hard lesson. Bailey Cargill looking, who's at fault? Don Bernard, who knows? But 4-0 down. 4-0. Um, I'm not even going to say too much really apart from every time Barry Bannon's on the ball his influence on the play. I mean, it's a good finish again, but the distance is everything's so wrong today from Forest Green, and fair play to these travelling fans. They're trying to make a light work out of it, but it's just it's just not good. 4-0 with still five minutes or so to go. Cheers, and that is the half-time whistle, but they've nearly scored a fifth and Forest Green go in 4-0 down at half-time. Oh dear, let's re-evaluate and let's get ready for the second half. Half-time just in the concourse here, fans chatting around. The thing is, right, and you've got to be realistic here, I know I went 1-1, one, one, optimistic scoreline prediction, but uh, look, at the end of the day, we know it's going to be a tough game here on Wednesday. 4-0 down now at half-time is a tough one to take. Wednesday, not really coming up third or fourth gear. Barry Bannon's it taking the place. The big thing for me though is now the second half. Don't become a parody. Keep it consistent. Try and get yourself into the game. And for me, make sure you keep that pride. But look, the Forest Green fans are having a good day on Wednesday. And as I said, Hillsborough is a great stadium, great facilities. But we're going to have to wait and see. In terms of the Wednesday fans, I thought they'd be a bit louder. I thought there'd be a bit more atmosphere at Hillsborough. Not quite seeing that yet. But as I said, when they scored that fourth, it was almost like a, that was expected. So we'll see. But big second half coming up. We've got to be making sure they do themselves proud of it, making sure that they are trying to at least be competitive in this game. Let's see what the second half brings.
Forest Green fans make good light of this. Second half, missed the fifth goal. 5-0 down at the moment at Hillsborough. 60 minutes in. So, um, apologies to everyone. Uh, missed the first 15 minutes of the second half. The reason behind that, actually spoke to um, the chairman and the CEO, Del Vint and Henry. Um, Fair play to them, shared their thoughts about the club going forwards at half time, had a beer of them, so uh, yeah, credit to them. But we're here for the second half, quite nailed down as I said. Well, let's see what happens in the second half. Can Forest Green conjure a shot on target and a goal? But um, yeah, big up to Henry and big up to Dale Vince for spending their time to uh, have a conversation with fans during half time. Colin Reeks! Turn inside in! Get in the box! Go on! Watch Ten minutes or so left in this second half, and look, I've been being really honest, not too much has happened. Wednesday are just keeping the ball. Forest Green, we're just keeping in their shape. Toronto's conceded too many more. But look, at the end of the day, five deals down at Hillsborough, it is a tough ask here. Blissy of these uh, Forest Green players can give something to cheer about with a goal at the least, but 10 minutes to go in this second half. Still. Added it on time, and the Forest Green fans still in voice. Got a credit to them. Got to credit them. <laughs> Full time whistle here at Hillsborough, and as expected, the result. 5-0 to Sheffield Wednesday at home. Hard lesson learned by Forest Green. But fair enough to these away fans here who sung throughout the 90, got behind the team. And that is still, as you can hear right now, important for this club in this League One season. It's going to be a tough season ahead. But with this fan base in away games and at home, who knows? But it does end 5-0 to Sheffield Wednesday.